my purple bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we crossed Victory Road and took on our rival Jacob. In today's episode, we have made it here once and for all to the Indigo Plateau, the ultimate goal for trainers, the Pokemon League headquarters. We are more than ready, so let's go ahead inside. Ooh, this is a very nice looking place. Before we continue any further up these stairs, I'm actually going to show you guys the level ups. I've actually been training off screen and I've gotten everyone to around the same level. Everyone is 44 except Aqui who went up to 45. Everyone's ready. Glamis is ready to go. You know, not too many crazy moves have been learned. Glamis did learn one move though, which I do want to show you guys. And it was Dragon Rush, which is going to be a pretty good move. And I'm pretty excited to actually have that. I replaced the Dragon Rage. And then as you can see, the Twister move was also replaced by Aqua. Tail. These are going to come in very handy here in the Elite Four, and I think we are ready to head inside. So here we go. Once you enter this door, you will be facing one of the Elite Four. They are really tough. You cannot exit once you enter. Are you ready? Be courageous and go for it. We are ready, and it's time for us to head inside this doorway and enter to battle the Elite Four. Here we go. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic type Pokemon powerful. And at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Here we go, Rodri versus Will, the first of the Elite Four, the psychic type master. We are ready to take him on. We are challenged by Elite Four Will. This is going to be an exciting battle. The first of the Elite Four members, he's going to send out Zatu. I'm going to send out Zuko. We should be looking pretty good for this. I'm a little bit nervous since it is our first Elite Four battle. We're going to have to see if we can do it, if we can knock him out, and if we're going to be able to, you know, take him on. I'm hoping our Pokemon are going to be around at a decent level. I know, you know, as we get further in there, they're going to get harder and harder. So I'm thinking that you know, it was a decent start. I've stocked up on a couple Hyper Potions as well as a couple Revives, so we should be looking quite decent. I know that from our levels, though, we are going to have to do a lot of strategizing in order to beat the Elite Four, so this is where you guys are going to come in and help me. Okay, first of all, I'm going to try and just take this dude down on my own, but we're going to see if I can do it. Um, he already went ahead and actually used one of his uh, full restores, which is cool with me, because that'll give us a better advantage once we get into its strong. Stronger Pokemon. Okay, Zuko gained some XP. Who's gonna come out next? All right, Slowbro. Okay, time to switch out. Perfect. And our little Den is back. Den hasn't seen action in a while, so come on out, Den. Time to take out this Slowbro. We got this, guys. We got this. It should be no problem. We should be able to do this quite nicely. Okay, Slowbro is level 41. We're gonna throw out the Thunderbolt. All fingers crossed here that we can actually KO it. We should be pretty good on this. Come on, we've been training for a while. We've been doing pretty good. We have the type advantage on you, and it's gonna get KO. No, it survived with like two HP. The faux slow bro went for the curse. Another thing that you guys actually told me was that curse will actually like raise your speed and your attack if you're just like a different Pokemon than Ghost. And if you're Ghost, it's gonna weaken you slowly. So thank you guys very much for actually telling me that. All right, we're gonna go for the double kick. I'm sure that'll take down the slow bro or leave it at like one HP. Are you freaking kidding me? That didn't take it down at all. Okay, the slow bro is going for another curse, so it shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm thinking if I actually go for that kickity cackity kick kick cackity, uh, we should be able to take it down this time. I'm just, you know, trying to not wear out all of my stronger moves because I don't know how much we're actually going to have to use them later on. Okay, slow bro keeps going for the curse, and my kicks aren't doing crap. Uh, I'm actually just gonna go for a Shadow Ball then. I mean, I don't really want to waste any other kicks. Uh, yeah, let's just go for the Shadow Ball. Why not? It's probably gonna take it down, and then we'll be able to continue on. Uh, since it is a Psychic type, we do have one Ghost type move that's gonna become infective, and that's Dense. So, you know, we'll have to see what other Pokemon come out. Alright, Jinx is gonna come out. Oh, man, should I keep Den out against Jinx? I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep Den out. I'll keep Den out. We'll see. We'll see if it's the correct move. I guess we'll find out right here. All right, Jinx is level 41, and I am going to throw out the Shadow Ball. It should be super effective on this Jinx and maybe even KO it. I guess we'll figure it out right here. Uh, if the Thunderbolt couldn't KO the slow, bro, I'm not expecting it to... Wow, we hit a crit! Jinx is down. Super effective. We are doing well in this fight. Okay, who's going to come out next? Bring it on. Bring it on, Will. We got you right now. Executor is going to come out. I am actually going to switch out Pokemon. Um, I do want someone to get a little action in on this, so I am actually going to bring in... Oh, why not? Let's go, Glamis. Glamis hasn't had much action right now as a Dragonair, so Glamis is going to come out right now. First time we've had Glamis out like this, like a little Dragonair, and we're going to see if we can do this. Oh, man, I'm a little bit nervous now uh, because we don't have too much of an advantage on this. I am going to go 
for the Dragon Rush. We're going to see how, how strong the Dragon Rush is. And it missed. Negatives of the Dragon Rush. They do miss. Okay? They do miss. That's the only bad thing about it. I'm actually going to throw out the Thunder Wave. Um, if I can actually paralyze it, that'll be a little bit better since it actually got the Reflect. So we're going to see if we can do this. All right? Nice and easy, guys. Nice and easy. We can do this. All right. Executor is paralyzed. Um, it tried to go for a Hypnosis, but it missed. Suck on that. Suck it. All right. We're going to go for the Dragon Rush this time. I don't know if uh, the Reflect is actually going to negate it. It actually did quite a lot. Executor is going to go for the Psychic now. I am probably going to switch out. Uh, because the Psychics didn't do a crap load of damage. All right. Um, let's go ahead and bring out... You know what? Zuko could probably do it, but so could Aqui probably. Uh, yeah. Let's bring out Z Zuko. Yeah, let's bring out Zuko. If I can land a freaking flamethrower, this thing should pretty much be down. Uh, let's just hope the paralysis will hold out for it. And let's hope that it doesn't KO me here. Um, I will use a hyper potion if it comes down to it. Please don't KO me. 8 HP. Holy crap, Will. Will, Will is really stepping it up now. Will, you're kicking things up a little bit. I'm gonna go for the hyper potion, you know. Just relax a little bit. If we can heal up, if the paralysis can hold out, and I can throw out a flamethrower, we should be fine. We should be okay. All right. It's going to go for an egg bomb. I don't know how much damage that's actually going to do to me. Um, that actually didn't do a whole much. And finally, the reflect is off. It is time for us to go for the flamethrower. Use that, Zuko. Light that little palm tree, coconut tree on fire. Burn it to the ground. Turn it into ashes and allow us to continue on. Super effective. This Pokemon is going to be down and woo, this is this is heating up. This battle's heating up. All right, we're gonna have to see what Will is gonna send out next. All right, Elite Four Will is gonna send out another Zatu. I am gonna switch out this time, and we're gonna bring in Aqui. As you guys know, I'm trying to you know bring my Pokemon out as much as possible, so a lot of them don't get hit as much damage. I don't have that many revives. I have like four, so I don't really want to be using uh, them. We psychics don't give up even when we're down to the last Pokemon. That's what makes us so formidable. All right, good for you. All right, I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. Pretty sure Zatu is flying psychic, so we should be able to KO it here quite nicely if this Confuse Ray doesn't take us down in the first place. Aqui, snap out of your confusing. Aqui, no. Aqui got hurt. That's not good. Too bad it didn't do a whole bunch. Um, Zatu is going to go for the psychic. If I could just land this Ice Beam, we would be good. Um, but I'm actually a little nervous now. Um, because this Confuse Ray uh, is actually going to hurt us quite a bit. Okay. Is it going to be able to KO it this time? Oh, uh, fingers crossed, everybody. If we can actually take it down here, we will have taken down... No, we are so close. And it got frozen. Holy crap. Frozen solid. That never freaking happens. That is amazing. Did the What did the berry do? Did that do anything? All right. So, oh, man. I'm, I'm going to heal up, though. Uh, it is frozen. We should be good. I doubt Will's going to pull out a freaking full heal or something um so we should be good if i can just land the ice beam so i might as well not risk it i'm gonna throw out this hyper potion then we're gonna come back and then throw another ice beam at it yep zatu is frozen solid it's not looking like it's gonna give us much trouble as of now so here we go Aqua use ice beam take it down please please take it down take it down right now uh and we actually snapped out of confusion as well are we gonna be able to take down this zatu uh if anything we should keep it like very very close and that is it zatu is down it's super effective went down with the frozen solidness Aqua gained some xp we defeated elite four will uh i can't believe it we got 50 40 for winning even though I was defeated, I, I won't change my course. I will continue battling until I stand above all trainers. Now, move on and experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. Okay, so it seems like we have taken down our first of the four Elite Four members. This battle was heated up. Who else knows what we could expect coming up here next? If you guys have any tips, let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.